you see him, Megan? Yeah, I can. Okay. Have yeah, some more. <laughs> I'm losing my. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Ma? This is what he's doing. Smile. Smile. I'm smiling. <laughs> Good? Right there. Okay. I'm smiling. <laughs> now what? <laughs> you can eat. Okay, sing to me. I'm smiling at the camera. <laughs> Megan, you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. <laughs> love you. I love you. Hello, neighborhood community. <laughs> I'm too busy eating right now. Okay, say goodbye to the neighborhood community. Goodbye to the neighborhood community. I love yous. Well, everybody, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Pa's been up since 1. And everybody's awake. Everybody's awake. Aunt Barbara's awake. Karina's awake. My mom's awake. We've called Jessica. We've called Megan. Okay. We've gotten okay, Crystal well, up. No liquor. And okay. Paz decided nobody's can nobody can have anything to drink because he doesn't want anybody to have any liquor. Um, so everybody had to dump out their drinks. Um, my mother even had to dump out her coffee because he had a sip of her coffee, and even though it had no alcohol in it. <laughs> He tasted liquor in it, so and she had to over in the corner. Don't start it there and around. Dump out <laughs> coffee, and now he thinks my cup okay, has liquor. Okay, now he thinks my cup has liquor in it, and that I'm gonna pass and it don't around. Don't start any liquor going around. <laughs> no liquor. No liquor. All right. Why do you you don't like liquor? He he like just. No, I don't like liquor. Wide awake, yeah. keeping everybody awake. You no, know I can't drink liquor. <laughs> I know you can't. Not since I quit. When, how long ago did you quit? What? How long ago did you quit? Back in 96. 96. Good boy. What? Well, I said a good boy. I quit that, that's it. Oh, oh, oh I can't stop going. I'm getting you in. So you gotta stay with me as to no drinking. I don't drink no more. I drink coffee. And he wants Velcro He's attached to his body anyway. so that um, my mother can be Velcroed to him. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's a crazy so, night at this house tonight, I'm guys. Sorry we woke you up. No. <laughs> no. See you so all. Well, I can't say in the morning because it's already in the morning. See y'all later. Bye. Good morning, neighborhood community. It was another very, very, very interesting evenings last night. Um, my father has decided he is no longer taking medications. None. Mm -mm. Nothing. None at all. No more pain meds. No more meds to help him breathe. No. Nothing. Because he thinks we are prolonging his life. So. Um, he woke up at about 1 o'clock after sleeping all day long um, to go to the bathroom. 
but he uh, decided then it was time to stay up. So Karina got up to help me with um, changing him and, and cleaning him up. And since he was so wide awake, we decided to wake Aunt Barbara up so she could talk to him. Um, then about four o'clock in the morning, we decided, okay, he's so wide awake and everybody wants to talk to him. So we called Jessica. We woke up Crystal. We called my daughter, Megan. Um, yeah, and he was talking to everybody. He was even sharing his pudding with whipped cream with Megan through the phone. Mm -hmm. He was. My mother had to lay with him for a little bit. I'll have Kevin insert a picture here. Um, then he decided he was going to wrap himself in Velcro and take my mother and myself with him. Yes. We are going to be stuck with him by Velcro so we can go with him. Yeah. So it's 9 o'clock in the morning. About 5 o'clock, everybody thought he was falling asleep, so they went to bed. He didn't go to sleep. So, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. I finally convinced him to take one Ativan. He's supposed to take two Ativans every eight hours and two long-lasting morphines every eight hours. I finally got him to take one Ativan at nine o'clock. We don't know how much he actually knows what he's talking about or how much is the cancer that has taken over his brain. Um, but he was laughing and having a good time last night and he had us all cracking up. It was a pretty interesting but fun evening. Good morning everybody. It's uh, a warm day. I don't want to call it a beautiful day because it's not that beautiful. It's kind of smoggy. We still have uh, the uh, fog in the morning. The uh, overcast, I should say. So, June gloom still. But uh, it's not bad. I have the air conditioning on in the truck. But um, right now I need to go to uh, the pharmacy for Val. She's uh, low on some medication. I gotta mail those out to her because they don't have her insurance company out there. So I'm gonna stop by the post office and I got those things in the mail for Val, including her uh, necklace that I put together for her yesterday. So she should have that by Friday. And I found some old books that belong to my mom and I'm going to take those to Goodwill because she doesn't want those anymore. And what else have I got? I think that's it so far. Okay, so we got Megan's necklace today for when we get Pa's ashes back. Here is her charm. It's a tree of life with some fruit on it. And you open the charm on the bottom. And here's the chain that came with it. A very nice chain. Comes with a nice little Who Am I jewelry bag. And a nice little kit to fill the necklace with the ashes. So there is Megan's. Mine should be in today or tomorrow. And the actual urn should be in today or tomorrow as well. And here is my necklace that I received for my dad's ashes. This is the Celtic Tree of Life that I got, and it just has leaves on it, whereas Megan's had fruit on it. And again, this is where you put the ashes in, and that little section right here holds the ashes. And it comes with 
a chain, a nice jewelry bag, and this one just comes with a plastic funnel. Doesn't have the spoon or the little poker to pack it down with, but I can use the same spoon as Megan's and the little packer down thingy as Megan's as well. So we both got Tree of lights. Life pendants. All right, we got something going down over here. We got the police uh, just cornered a car and some people climbing out. Got another police car coming. We got two more police cars coming, so something big happened here. made the police's day. I have no idea if I'm going to get out of here now. Because it looks like I have a police car blocking my way. And they have turned off the lights in the intersection. So I'm kind of stuck. I see somebody been arrested. Oh, we finally got some people saying, oh, I think I'm going to go. Yeah, just go. I think we have the entire police department here. Okay, guys, so it's come to the end of another long day. As you guys saw, my dad was up half the night and most of the day. Um, we did have to call hospice in, even though hospice was here today, we had to call them back again today. Um, they ended up having to catheterize my dad. Uh, but um, in the long run, that's going to be a good thing because um, it's getting harder and harder for him to get up and out of bed. I know looking at him last night um, on the phone and eating and laughing and joking and, and saying the stuff he was saying, um, you would never know that he is as sick as he is. Um, that's always been my dad. He's been a trooper and always showing strength. So... Um, it's very difficult to see him in the state that he's in, especially when he is um, at his worst right now. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, again, I'm still just trying to sleep as much as I can while he sleeps, um, take care of him when he is in need of anything and um, just taking it one day at a time, guys. So, hope you enjoyed everything you saw today and everything that Kevin did over there in California. And um, if you did, please give us a like, share, comment, um, all that happy, crappy stuff. And we will see you guys all tomorrow.